Hey everybody, what's up? Gary Simon here. So today we have another edition of the UI UX workshop. I've done uh, several of these in the past. It's been a while since I did one, so I wanted to do another one. And basically what I do is I take three design submissions that were submitted uh, on behalf of my design course uh, Discord server. And you can check out that link, by the way, in the YouTube description, join up. There's a lot of people there. I think we have like 10,000 members. Anyhow, and I just take three random UI designs that I think I can improve in some way, shape or form as it pertains to UI and or UX. All right, and so the way these are done, these are time-lapse videos where you're able to see exactly what I'm doing from start to finish, but they're sped up with a voiceover just so you can quickly see what I'm doing uh, in order to improve these in terms of UI and UX. All right, so if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and let's get started. Before we begin, there's never been a better time to try Linode. From now until May 31st of 2020, Linode is giving every single account access to object storage for free. That's right. Whether you create an account all the way back in 2003 or even just today, you can take advantage of free object storage until April 30th of 2020. What is object storage, you might ask? Well, object storage is an easy way to store and access data without the need for running a server. It's perfect for data that doesn't regularly change, like images and other multimedia files, important backups, or giant archives for servers that might need more storage space. One of the best use cases for object storage is hosting your own static website. You can have a site up and highly available on Linode's object storage with as little as an HTML and CSS file. To give Object Storage a try for free and get an additional $20 on your new Linode account, sign up at linode.com forward slash design course. All right, so our first entry here is from Discord user Srijad, and this is basically the middle of a landing page for a personal portfolio, and you can see there's cards here that list out skills that I think can definitely be improved. All right, so I'm using the same gray background color and placing the headline type. Sometimes it's nice to really fill out a page and give a character to use a watermark. In this case, it's the headline, but really enlarged and barely visible from the background. Now to also introduce color in this grayscale setting, I'm adding a little border above the headline with a variety of colors. Now I decided to not use actual cards here because there's six different items and I just thought that was a bit much. I also noticed his use of icons were inconsistent. Some were filled, some weren't. So you want to keep that aesthetic of your icons consistent. Next, the actual skill listings I'm choosing to encase in a little container to really separate them and draw focus to them in contrast to the rest of the type on page. Now also, I choose not to make them stand out too much with the blue background and instead give them a slightly darker gray from the background of the page. There's plenty of potential ways to lay out the icon in relation to the skill title and the breadcrumbs, but I decided to align them in two columns to save vertical layout space. And next, this isn't necessary at all, but for some reason I felt compelled to add a few of the icons right aligned to the, the skills heading just to fill that area out a bit more. But honestly, I would probably opt just to omit those for now. And I, now that I think about it, that way it's a little bit more simplistic. So here's the before. And here is my version. All right, next up is from user Zishan. And there are white space issues along with alignment as well. So let's see how we can improve this. First up, the skewed background being the same color as the cards was just giving the design too much blue. So I thought of doing something a bit more unique and creating large pill shapes and skewing them along the same angle. Then, to really make sure the cards stick out more, I make them white. I also ensure there's really good white space inside of the cards, as well as making sure everything is consistently aligned, which was an issue with the original design's cards. Now, next up, I really struggled with the pill shapes. I experimented with changing their colors, their positions, etc. They just didn't feel or look right to me. But ultimately, I did end up with something that I liked a lot more. It just took me some time. Now, I know I diverged quite a bit from the original design, but I just wasn't happy with everything being in the same blue hue. So I introduced more color in the form of pastels. So here's the original. And here is mine. All right, here's an entry from Discord user GMS Husem. And this is a PC parts picking 
landing page that I definitely think can be improved. Now I found a similar background image from Unsplash and I really try to make it a lot darker so that it has overall less contrast. That way the type elements on top of it can be seen and read more easily. The navigation was a little strange from the original as it lacked a logo, so I stuck to a more traditional approach. The original headline was too long to be styled the same, so I broke it into two parts and established visual hierarchy between them as a headline and a subheadline. Also, the biggest issue in terms of UX here is the original layout lacked a clear call to action. This is a site to help you find PC parts, so why not add a prominent search field with a call to action that really stands out? Alright, so hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to subscribe and also leave a comment, a like, and all that good stuff. Alright, see you guys soon. Goodbye.